Hi, my name is Ali Slocum, author of Benjamin Blair and the Case of the Missing Noun Hound. And today I'm going to be reading to you the final chapter in the book, chapter 10, called Henry's Birthday. Ben was wrong. He had a terrible time trying to be patient. His dad was gone when he got home, so he had to wait for him. Jeannie was at her friend Claire's house, so he had to wait for her too. When everyone finally came home, his mom left for the grocery store, so he had to wait for her to return. Ben thought he would burst. Finally, everyone was home. Ben started to open his mouth to talk, but Jeannie asked, can we do Henry's birthday bone hunt now? Last year, Barton invented a game to celebrate Henry's birthday. Each family member took one dog tree and hid it somewhere in the backyard. The only rules were that Henry needed to be able to reach it on his own, and at least half of it needed to be showing. Once all the bones were hidden, Jeannie would let Henry out to search for them. Whoever's bone he found last was the winner. Barton and Beck exclaimed together, oh yes, let's play. Ben would have to be patient even longer. This year, Ben thought he found that perfect hiding place to help him win. He hid his bone in the corner of the sandbox behind a yellow bucket. Ben figured he could trick Henry and win the game since everything was almost the same color. When Jeannie handed him his bone, Ben bolted straight out the door and hid it in the special spot he had picked. He turned to watch his mom tuck hers carefully into a flat flower pot. His dad placed his deep in the bushes. Beck plopped his down in the back of a big dump truck toy. Barton stood in the center of the yard studying his options. Ben plunked himself on the edge of the sandbox to watch. Barton could take a while to make decisions. Barton strolled toward a tree, but then switched directions and headed for the ball bin. Ben put his elbows on his knees and rested his chin on his hands. He tried so hard to be patient. Mom and dad watched with amused faces as Barton paced around. Jeannie finally called out from inside, you guys ready? Henry knows there are treats out there. I can't hold him much longer. Barton called back, almost. His eyes darted back and forth across the lawn. Come on, even Henry can't be this patient, Ben finally called out. He needed a lot more practice and patience. Ben covered his mouth with his hands. Oops, I mean, take your time, Barton. He looked at his parents who grinned at him. Barton finally tucked his bone in a small pile of the only snow left over from the last snowstorm. It was the remains of the snow fort the boys built when snow fell last week. The warm sun had melted the rest of the snow. Ben stood up and joined the rest of the family on the patio. Okay, Jeannie, let him go, Dad called. Ready or not, here he comes, Jeannie yelled from inside. She let Henry go and he came tearing around the corner. Jeannie followed behind and tossed her bone on the grass by the patio steps. Ben knew she didn't care about winning, just about spoiling her dog. To Ben's surprise, Henry raced straight for his bone and gobbled it up. Hey, he called with disappointment. Henry wasted no time and turned around toward Beck's bone in the toy truck. Henry snatched it up and came running back to Jeannie. He dropped it at her feet and then easily found hers nearby. Ben watched as Henry collected mom's hidden bone and then dad's. Then Henry continued sniffing around the yard. Somehow Henry knew there was one more to be found. Ben could tell when Henry caught the scent. He put his nose to the ground and followed a straight line. Then he turned suddenly. Hey, Barton observed, he's just like Ned the Noun Hound. He's hunting for nouns. Bone is a thing. Beck added, snow is a thing and kind of a place because it was our fort. Do you think he'll find it? Of course, Jeannie said. Henry is the smartest dog in the world. I disagree, Ben joked. I think Ned the Noun Hound is the smartest. The boys all giggled. Who's Ned the Noun Hound? Mrs. Blair asked. Ben realized he had forgotten all about telling everyone. Maybe he was patient after all. Ben started to share, but Beck burst out and started telling about Ned. Ben cried out, I've been waiting and waiting to tell about Ned ever since we got home. I just forgot during the hunt. No fair. Ben's mom sat on a patio chair and pulled him onto her lap to comfort him. Oh, buddy, it's really hard to be patient. You can't just learn it in one day. I think you did a really good job waiting. And I think Beck, Barton, and you can all take turns sharing parts of what you learned today. We want to hear everything. Ben calmed down. The three boys took turns sharing all the details of the day's hunt. Ben waited as patiently as he could for his turn. Once Ben had finished, Jeannie said, I wish Mrs. Dish had Ned the Noun Hound when I was in first grade. What a fun day. All we did was the part with the little magnifying glasses. I still have mine somewhere. 
Ben's mom added, you boys are lucky to have such creative teachers. It sounds like Miss Nungesser is a great addition to the school. Yeah, I can't wait to have her next year. Ben rubbed his hands together in anticipation. Oh, buddy, Mr. Blair added, I think you're going to have to be really patient on that one. Next year is a long way away. Everybody laughed. The end. And there's Henry finding his bow. Discussion questions for chapter 10. Ben's family has a special way to celebrate Henry's birthday. How do you celebrate birthdays in your home? Ben struggled with patience in this story. What virtues are a struggle for you? Examples could be honesty, kindness, respect, forgiveness, compassion. Add your own.